Hey guys, welcome back to the Business of Art. In our last video, uh, we went over selling art on Facebook. So definitely make sure that you check that video out if you have not already. And today we're going to be going over putting on your own art show. So I've actually written a, an article on doing this, which I will link down in the description, but I'm gonna go over each point of the article on video here for you. And let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. So first thing would be picking the date that you wanna have the art show. I generally would start planning maybe four to even six months in advance, at least two or three, like that'd be the minimum. Um, I usually pick a Saturday night because that generally works for people to go out. Of course, keep holidays in mind and you know, you don't wanna do anything around Christmas, anything in between Thanksgiving and Christmas really, but you know, nothing around any major, major holidays that you'll have to contend with. Um, and then second, and probably honestly the hardest part is finding a space. So I've done art shows at my own house. I've done them at a friend's house and I've gone on to Craigslist and found a place to actually rent. For any of you who haven't used Craigslist before, it's a place where you can uh, buy and sell things locally and also rent spaces and even, you know, buy cars or whatever, you know. Um, so I've gone on to Craigslist before and searched studio, um, in the rental space and see what pops up there. I, when I got started out doing my own art shows, I would rent uh, a space near me for $200 a day. So that was a really good deal. I wouldn't recommend going much over that because otherwise you'll be probably losing money on your first one. Um, just as you want to, you know get into it and try it out and see how it goes. Um, and generally you'll wanna allow, I'd say about two to three hours for a show and then an additional couple hours for breakdown. So find a place that you can use for at least five hours. Depending on how big you have the show, right? Um, all right, and then another thing on that is getting other local artists on board with you. Some people may think that's maybe a competition or something. It's not. And you can also find people that have completely different styles as you. Uh, but it, it really helps with the promotion. So if you think about it, if you have, say, 10 artists there, and each of them get about 20 people there, or 10 people there, you can have 100 people. If it's just you, only you, getting 100 people there, especially for your first show, would possibly be a little bit difficult. All right, and then another kind of random side note is you're going to be selling your pieces. If there are any that you are particularly attached to or you would like to make prints of or anything, make sure you get them scanned and digitized before the show. That's actually quite important and people don't necessarily think about it. If, you're, if you don't worry about it, you know, then don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Um, Another factor would be, do you want to charge for the show or not? Uh, most art shows will be free, but you can also consider charging maybe five or $10 at the door, especially if you're gonna be having bands, you know, and usually you'll have free food and wine and whatnot. So you may consider charging five or $10 at the door just to cover your costs, especially if you had to pay to rent a space. That's totally up to you, but it's another thing to consider. And then uh, there's going to be planning a menu of some sort. You're gonna to wanna to have some food and drink. Like I would not recommend ever doing a show that doesn't have any form of food and drink. Even if it's literally a platter of cookies and some wine, you know, or something. So you can obviously do that yourself. You can go and get like fruit and vegetable platters, cheese and whatever platters you can get you know, different little desserts, finger food, and then coffee, wine, tea, water, you know, anything like that. Just because pe you want people to stay. You don't want people to stop by for five minutes and then leave. And if there's food, that will definitely extend their stay. And on that note too, um, consider having um, some form of music. You'll either have to have uh, like a playlist and a iPod, if anyone still has those these days, or a computer or your phone or whatever, some sort of a playlist, or have a live musician. 
I wouldn't recommend having a full on band unless it's a big show, but maybe just a, someone playing acoustic guitar is, goes really well with a show. All right, and then there is making invitations. So you can use, of course, Photoshop or any design program. If you don't have any design experience, I recommend canva.com. You can design postcards there, flyers, etc. So get some postcards printed. Of course, where do you get them printed? I personally use gotprint.com, and that is at least national for the US. Uh, but you can also check for local printers. There's also Vista Print. And then if, if you're in another country, I'm sure there's other similar websites to those too, where you can get things printed fairly inexpensively. Get those passed out at, you know, if you have a, a job at your job, at your children's school, give them to your friends and family members to pass out for you, put them in local businesses, you know, all kinds of things like that. Just get them out. If, you know, you can even consider going door to door locally to the show and passing them out there. Totally up to you. Do that about a month in advance would be my recommendation. And then of course there's online promotion. Create a Facebook page, um, like a Facebook event page, promote on Twitter, put it on your website if you have it. If you do a newsletter list, send it out in a newsletter, of course. There's also the different community websites like Craigslist, Nextdoor, um, any of these things that you can actually post local events to. And you can even go as far as writing a press release and sending it to local newspapers. In my area, we have about four local newspapers that I could send press releases to and they will generally always print when I send them things. So find the local newspapers. I'm not talking about like the LA Times necessarily, though you can try them as well. Depends on how big you want that to be. Uh, and then of course, recruit friends and family uh, to help you set up the event. You don't wanna be doing this all yourself. It may seem easy, but the day of the event, you'll probably be a bit frazzled. There's transporting all your artwork. There's hanging all your artwork. There's setting up food. You know, there's putting up your prices, um, putting up your bio, making sure you have business cards, all of those things. Um, and I will do a separate video on like the day of the art show, <laughs> the things you'll want to have. And this will apply to, you know, if you're doing an art fair or anything like that, any in-person art show you're doing, there's kind of a checklist of things that you should have. So I'll do a separate video on that. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. And then obviously, otherwise, dress nicely. You know, you want to be presentable and just have tons of fun. Don't worry about it too much. Don't go in there with the idea that you have to sell a bunch of paintings that will kind of come naturally. You'll be surprised. Trust me, you'll be surprised. I think my first art show, I ended up selling probably like 15 paintings. Who knew, you know what I mean? And every single art show that I've put on, I've sold at least one painting. Every single art show. No matter what my prices were at, I've always sold at least one art, one painting. So you will be surprised and it's really fun and it's a great way to get your art out there, get your feet wet, get started, or even get out of a rut. Maybe you normally sell your art online and you're in a bit of a rut. It's a great way to switch things up and have some fun. You know, you can make it into a backyard barbecue concert art show kind of fun thing. You know what I mean? So I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And I will put the link to that full write-up that I did on how to set up your own art show. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And also, don't forget to hit that notification button so that you know when we post new videos and you can see them right away. And otherwise, we'll see you next time.